So, I was thinking about what you all were saying, like, where is my evidence of transformative use of technology in the classroom? I would have to tell you that I do not have any. I have facilitated such things. I have done things like Google Hangouts. I have done things like Skype. But the truth is, I don't keep records of these things. Because the truth is, I just keep going. I keep a blog. Um, I try to promote the use of technology among my colleagues. I have to tell you that uh, the Banneker faculty is quite resistant to using technology in what I would call in a transformative sense. And they have their reasons. They really do. But right now, like, look at this. The principal and I, we are doing a technology challenge for the student, with the teachers to use these things. You know, Listly, Twitter, Google Hangouts, Podcasts, Pinterest. Many of these could result in transformative uses of technology in the classroom. I believe in carrots and not sticks. And yet, through my spot checking, I can tell you, not too many are doing it. Not many are even doing Twitter, which I think is a very simple, easily implemented and integrated way to use technology in the classroom. Now, I find this very disappointing and very challenging. On the other hand, last year, and I could bring people in to vouch for this, I had my students participate, well not my students, but a teacher who partnered with me. Her students participated in a distance learning uh, affair via Edmodo with students at Valdosta State University who were working on their masters in education and essentially they were just acting as digital tutors. The students would upload their essays via Edmodo and the graduate students working on their masters would give them feedback and then the kids would look at the feedback and they would resubmit it to Ms. Stevens. Now there wasn't much choice in this but it wouldn't have been possible to do this without the technology. We were definitely exposing them to people that they would never meet in a million years if we were to leave them to their own devices here at Banneker. This was something that I was looking to expand. However, it's more difficult than you think. Now, I remember you all saying that you have challenges getting people from the South the learning community to participate. And uh, I can see why. As I said, I find it troubling that I can't get people to do Twitter. They're just not doing it. And I promote it. I certainly do. I know how to do it. But you can lead horses to water. But generally speaking, they don't want to drink. And of course, many of the students do not have the technology that we would like them to have. As one teacher said to me, yes, they have smartphones, but they can't do anything with them. As in, they have access to a smartphone but they do not have internet access on the phone. They have it through the school network, but beyond that, there's no internet access for these students outside of Banneker High School. Why they won't go to the public library down the street, I'm not sure, but it's not as popular as I would imagine. Now, do we continue to try? Certainly. As I said, me and Mr. Holland were doing the Banneker 21st Century Technology Challenge. I'm trying to promote it door-to-door, -door, face to face and it's challenging. Even with a hundred dollar gift certificate and other prizes, they don't particularly seem interested in it. Why? I'm not sure. Now, on the other hand, when I've worked with other teachers here to do technology like data mining and databases, like um, Britannica, the kids just found it too rigorous is what they said. Other times, they just simply didn't finish the assignments even in a way that they thought was worth me keeping a sample. And that's really it. The work generally hasn't been as thrilling as I would like. Also, in the defense of the teachers, the past two years here at Banneker have been incredibly challenging from a viewpoint of maintaining order, um, imposing a sort of structure, and right now, Mr. Holland and I, we have plans for the future, as evidenced by the uh, technology challenge that I'm trying to do here, but it's going slowly. You know, it's very slow here, and to expect everything to be terribly transformative all the time seems a bit far. I mean, most of the time, 
it hasn't happened as much as I would like. Now, in another environment, I think the challenges would be more easily overcome. But that's not the environment I'm in. Anyway, I suppose that this is freewheeling, kind of thoughtful. Uh, this is my application. Uh, enjoy it, <laughs> such as it is. But, hey, I did that poster. I can use all that stuff. It's just getting it with the right partners and the right infrastructure to actually have it happen. That's been a challenge. But, hey, I persevere. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.